Hi everyone, it's Ben again. So many organizations, you know, across the globe, they have started, you know, to embrace, you know, the cyberbit engineering practices, which was uh, started by Google in 2003 to run, you know, their production environment, making them, you know, more available, you know, more reliable and as serviceable as possible. So by the time, you know, of the recording of this video, the latest LinkedIn job search shows over 340,000 plus jobs, you know, openings for cyberbit engineers worldwide. <laughs> this is just one platform. Not talking of other platforms like Glassdoor, so do the math, you know. This shows there's a huge demand of, you know, SRA. Also, sites for SRA are paid pretty well because SRA basically is the fire department, you know, for application services running in production. So if something is on fire, the SRA are the ones, you know, to relieve, you know, the critical incident. So are you looking, you know, to transition your career to become a site reliability engineer or maybe you're just saying, Ben, I'm starting out and you're trying to get into this role. Either way, you are in the right place. In this video, I will share with you my life as an SRA and what is SRA strategies and its goals and what skills are to become an SRA and what areas you know to prepare for an SRA interview is the role demand wide, wide uh, staff of knowledge. my life is an s-ray so let's start with my life is an s-ray less than, in less than 60 seconds so i'm responsible you know for the end-to-end -end performance scalability observability and reliability you know of tech platforms which provide 3g 4g 5g policy in charging and big data services which are you know deployed across different environments you know such as our public cloud on premise and hybrid you know across email region so my today activities you know also involves like, making sure the code that we ship is reliable you know involving like collaborating with cross multiple teams and customers in all stages of shipping the code in all environments from testing you know to production also you know having a mix of providing run books environment provisioning performance you know monitoring and you know environment troubleshooting debugging and also you know updating some some documentation so basically i will be wearing you know many hats and no day is exactly the same which is part of the fun you know of being an SRA. what is an SRA and its strategy go so SRA is a you know 50 50 Role. Every SRA, you know, um, should uh, spend about 50% of their time focusing, you know, concentrating on solving customers' issues, production issues, in short, you know. So SRA, you know, keeps service reliable and the other 50 percent which may be the part the most you know important part actively trying to automate you know themselves out of the job you know so it's like fits you know the right of the crossroads of the it operations software development and engineering so it fills you know <laughs> some of the gaps you know related to integration systems engineering testing and devops engineering so what are the sra strategy go to so to make sure that they they make deployment straightforward you know improve the uptime like establishing Know, the visibility into the application performance you know and also set some sli slo and some error budgets and also to eliminate you know the manual stuff and to reduce the cost of failure so key skills you know required to become a site reliability engineer so site reliability engineering like you know many other engineering uh, position requires you know extensive knowledge you know of devops as a philosophy and also a broad you know view of the software development process as a whole so well everyone's part you know is a little bit different but there are some you know common things that all successful site reliability engineers need to know and to master so skill number one that i have for you mastering you know the art of metrics as the sra the team you know is to operate you know application you know in production mission critical system do whatever you know what is necessary you know to keep you know the site up and run so sli slo sla and error by these metrics are essential you know to determining to keep the site up and running and to be reliable so available and also very useful to the user so skill number two that i have cloud native application expertise so more than no 75 percent of the organization are now implementing cloud first strategy so making yourself to master cloud services like aws gcp and azure is important in order to become an expert in cloud computing also while working on the cloud native school don't forget infrastructure as a code container orchestration you know and docker and configuration management you know also very important there are plenty you know, of, of website or on the internet like udm pluralset coursera cloud google you know to improve your knowledge in these areas and also those cloud providers they provide great certification and training path 
skill number three that I have for you, CNCD. You know, uh, to be top notch as for you, you need to be able to build CNCD pipeline from scratch, you know, for an application and to be able to maintain and to run it as well, you know, understanding the release strategies, release strategies like Canary, Blue Green, etc. So know that many organizations use platforms like uh, GitLab, GitHub, Azure, DevOps, Jenkins, etc. So pick one, you know, and master it. And then skill number four that I have for you, knowing how to code or to script because of the nature of the SRA role. Understanding development and coding and scripting can, can go a long way, you know. So now, <laughs> which language <laughs> does it make, you know, the most sense, you know, to learn? So since day-to-day, -day, a task of an SRA include like automating processes and dealing with our systems. So knowing Python, Go can help, you know, uh, in the long run as uh, well by scripting for OS, you know, automation. And then skill number five that I have for you, understanding operating system so working with our servers at large scale can be a bit you know stressful so having a detailed you know knowledge of your like organizer operating system usually like linux or windows is very important so as an israel you know you'll be working with <laughs> these operating systems you know like almost every day so master useful commands like uh, uh processing monitoring commands system performance commands you know and uh, like network troubleshooting and you know analysis it's very very important Skill number six that I have for you using version control tools as an SRA while working with code you'll be using git or some other kind of you know version control tools so it is it makes sense you know to learn about version control tools so this uh, the best way you know to achieve this is to learn git or github you know so skill number seven <laughs> that i have for you using observability and monitoring tools monitoring and observability tools make your life easier you know when you are in SRA as they provide the ability you know <laughs> to understand what is happening you know inside you know a system based on the external that are exposed by those systems so implementing and understanding these tools and getting insight from them is the primary goal of an SRA like you know prometheus data you know data dog neural Lake, classic graph one, a widely used monitoring solution. So it's it makes sense, you know, to learn those. So know that observability and monitoring is important since services are now growing rapidly and also architectures used today, you know, are more dynamic and also dependence between on the services are more complex. So we seek, you know, to improve the customer experience at the end, you know. So skill number eight that I have for you to gain a deep understanding of databases. So learn about so called SQL, NoSQL databases. There are many you know, types or and each has pretty specific use cases where they you know excel. So compare and contrast with the relational database like MySQL. This is an excellent time you know to dive into understanding you know what a data model is, why data models are necessary, and how you know data models should inform you know your choice of database and your service architecture and database administration, you know, such as uh, replication, upgrading, etc. is very important, you know, for an SRA. Then skill number nine that I have for you, master distributed computing so knowing how distributed computing works and understanding you know the concept of microservices are both significant and an advantage for an SRA you've been like handling you know large distributed system so having some experience uh, with these topics can really you know help you to get ahead you know in this career then skill number 10 improve your communication so this is the last skill I have for you the role of an SRA you know required developing operation run books release and robot documentation and status so also like working with a lot of different people so being uh, able to communicate with using all these uh, forms of communication is very important so as an SRI you often be on call so with uh, your manager and other team leaders you know depending on the size of the companies to make sure you know there are no miscommunication while reporting some incidents some issues being on call great communication skills is very important so even when you are not on call you'll be like working also with other software engineers from different departments and sections so in in all these situations having effective and well developed communication skills makes your life much easier the interview preparation for an SRA door so the interview process you know is is not standardized so by preparing for one company you might not end up like prepared you know for the other companies you know uh, so just be ready for that so uh, there is a system in troubleshooting round so in this round like oh my god this interview round such as uh, like troubleshooting are just like impossible you know to pass without like having hands-on uh, debugging experience so this round it's hard you know to prepare but if you don't have uh, industry experience try to use the one you got while building your personal projects you know they'll 
try to get you know how vested you are in the area of systems and network engineering troubleshooting servers issues and checking the health of the systems and also setting like some up some effective alerts and, and most like while being on call so now there is another one cloud native architecture round so understanding the complex of architectures and design is crucial you know for automating and scaling them so i understand you know there's a lot of knowledge like overlap where like here like between the sre and a uh, software architecture but it's a much more a concern with the practical you know implementation and scaling so you'll be tested along uh, those areas so the interview covers a wide range in this area of cloud native like infrastructure to code you know cncd container orchestration and so on so and then there's coding round this depends uh, on the raw to raw some organization test on the uh, basic scripting mostly on the bash or partial as you'll be managing production environment which is those scripts running in their cncd pipeline but if the role requires deep coding on building more SRA tools, it will be like lead code, easy to medium question. And then there is leadership and culture fit round. Culture fit is now, is now very important uh, to meet organizations. So this interview round is a way you know, to measure like if uh, someone is like good match you know, for the organization and, and the way the candidate answer the culture fit interview question reveals you know, a lot about their preferred work style, their preferred type of work environment and their personal belief and the value. So mostly there will be a behavioral interview our questions in this round. Conclusion, follow some decent tech companies, engineering blogs, I follow Google, Uber, Quora, GitHub, Netflix, you know, etc. So this is the place, you know, from where you can learn straight, you know, from the experts and get a chance, you know, to see their approach to solve any problems in the production. Also, follow like-minded SRA DevOps and tech companies on Twitter, on LinkedIn. I am always like reading articles and watching talks conference postmortems and uh, some of my not my favorite content so thank you so much for watching this video up to this end don't forget to like to subscribe and to ring the notification bell as always keep on skiing in the tech world